how you all doing i hope all of you are safe at your home i know it's getting really boring staying back at home but we have to what to do i don't know when this covid 19 will just get swipe away from our life hope for the best so now without wasting time let us move ahead with the new topic in the last video we discussed about land causes of land degradation and how we can control land degradation now let us move ahead with landslide what is landslide let us get, get ahead with the definition of landslide landslide means mass movement of rock debris or earth down a slope under the influence of gravity as you can see in the picture given just beside me you can see the picture highlighting in the screen yes it is showing landslide which means that how the mass that is the debris or rock or soil is coming down the slope under the action of gravity it is referred as landslide now let us know what are the causes of landslide landslide is caused or it occurred in conjunction with earthquake that means when an earthquake occur it can lead to landslide when there can be volcanic eruption it can cause landslide due to prolonged spell of rain or we can say due to heavy rainfall it can cause landslide now what will happen when there will be prolonged spell of rainfall so as a landslide will occur it will block the movement of river water that means it will cause a river blockage as there will be a river blockage so this is my river block so as there will be a river block what will happen the river will not be able to move in its natural flow that means the areas which are located at the downstream of the river that means where the settlements are located it will create a havoc for the settlement why because because it will lead to flood in the adjoining areas so prolonged spell of rainfall or floods can be a cause of landslide and landslide also can be a cause for flood which can cause a damage to life and property mainly at the downstream of the river where the settlements are located landslide is a major problem in the hilly areas where a huge toll of life and property are getting destroyed because of landslide so now let us see what are the effects of landslide effect of landslide what are the effects of landslide number 1 it causes huge loss of life destruction of property whether private or of the government it restricts or we can say obstructs the natural flow of river and causes damage to the beauty of the landscape
So what are the effects of landslide? Loss of life, destruction of property, restricts or obstructs the natural flow of river and causes damage to the beauty of the landscape. Now let us look at a case study. A massive landslide hit Pangi village near Rekong Pyo, which is in Kinnor district of Himachal Pradesh. What happened due to this landslide? Due to this massive landslide, it caused a damage to a 200 meter stretch of old Hindustan T8 road, National Highway 22. And what was the cause of this landslide? The cause of the landslide was intense blasting. Due to the intense blasting, the weak zone of slope collapsed and as it collapsed, it caused a huge destruction of the roads and the villages nearby. The people who were residing in the Pangi village were evacuated from the village to save their life. So you can understand that how massive can, a land, can be a landslide which can cause damage to a 200 meter stretch of old Hindustan Tibet road along with it can cause a huge damage to the village or the people who are living there. Right? So now let us have a look and try to understand how can we control or what are the mitigation techniques that we can use so that we can control landslide. Now, with the advancement techniques and modern technologies, now easily we can identify what are the factors which are causing landslide and how we can mitigate or what are the steps that can be taken to control landslide. So let us see the mitigation techniques to control landslide. Number one, what we can do is preparing a hazard mapping. Suppose this is an area. So we can create a hazard map by which we can easily identify that these are the areas which are more prone to landslide. These are the areas which are less prone to landslide. And this is the area which is very much prone to landslide. Here there is not too much risk of landslide. What is the need of identifying this area? What is the need to create a hazard map so that we can identify that which are the areas who are prone to landslide so that we can avoid creation of or settling down in those places. So what is the need of hazard mapping? To identify the areas prone to hazard, that is landslide, so that we can avoid building settlements in these areas. Number two, what we can do? Number two, construction of retention wall. Now, what is retention wall? We can see that this is a mountainous regions and here are the roadways. So, it is better to create walls which can hold the moving soil or earth and it can 
hold them so that it should not disrupt the roadways that means it will control the slipping down of the soil or rock or debris that is why construction of retention wall is very important in especially in the hilly areas or in the areas where landslide is a major problem and do we need to construct retention wall to stop land from sleeping what do you can do in the next the next mitigation technique is increase in the vegetation cover if there will be more vegetation cover if there will be more vegetation cover then the roots will be able to hold the soil as the roots will be able to hold the soil so there will be less slipping of the soil right to arrest landslide we need to increase the vegetation cover and the last point that we or the last technique that we should use to control landslide is surface drainage control to control the movement of landslide along with rain water so what happened we need to control surface drainage so that we can control the movement of landslide now what is surface drainage that means removal of surface water how can we remove the surface water by this is my surface now how the water can get removed the surface water by creating slopes right then the water will move to different parts how can we remove the surface water only by creating slopes no we also need to utilize the drain so that the water should not be stagnant at one place but the water should move to other parts then it will not cause landslide it will not cause flood and the landslide will get controlled right so the last point is to control surface drainage so that we can control the movement of landslide along with rain water so what are the mitigation techniques hazard mapping construction of retention wall increase in the vegetation cover surface drainage control to control the movement of landslide along with rain water in this video we understood about the definition of landslide the causes effect and the mitigation techniques to control landslide i hope all of you understood in the description box you will find the pdf providing a note on this chapter if you like my content don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe my channel and do click on the bell button for further notification of other videos that will come soon read your ncert books stay at home and stay safe until then i'm signing off thank you